Very nice. Nothing, huh? No hoodie? Oh, there we go. There's a little bit. My, uh, I don't have enough for everybody, so we're going to have to take pictures and share amongst ourselves. Okay, so we are here. I'm gonna leave you in charge of the, the talking. About to do a presentation for this lovely group of people with this King Cobra that is very, very annoyed with us. Hi! Okay, Alright, we're rolling, boys! All right, how is everybody? Good. Good? Good. All right, so today we have a pretty hefty snake. This right here is a king cobra, and it was actually caught uh, in this area. Uh, so we just picked this gal up from a uh, from a little um, snake show. <laughs> uh, she cost us a few thousand baht, but we were more than willing to pay that. <laughs> Now, king cobras are really, really cool because they actually feed primarily on other snakes. Uh, so they are cannibals, <laughs> uh, more or less, and they use a very powerful, fast-acting <coughs> neurotoxin, venom, uh, to actually paralyze, stun, and kill their prey. So, not to exaggerate, but an adult king cobra has enough venom to kill a bull <coughs> elephant. Now, this gal right here could easily kill me and David here, a few times over. So they have very large venom glands to incapacitate their prey. Now she's a little wiry, so we'll keep her away from you guys. You guys are gonna be fine, but we're, we're in the danger zone. So don't do this unless you're professionally trained in handling cobras. So just remember that. <laughs> this is for this is for cobra handling. <laughs> yep, you ready? Now, king cobras um, are the most intelligent species of snake in the entire world. Hey. Hi, girl. Now, king cobras are intimidation animals. So, see, she's she's hooding up. Uh, to look as big as possible to intimidate me so that I won't try to attack and eat her because she thinks that I am a predator. Hey, girl. Now, king cobras are fantastic snakes. Fantastic. A lot of people think that snakes are out to get you, uh, that they are evil creatures that just want to attack you and kill you. Um, but snakes are just animals, the same as anything else is. They're more interested in going about doing their own thing. You can see that she's not turning around trying to attack David. She's actually just trying to get away. Because uh, she's not entirely sure what's going on. She's never heard of YouTube. She's never heard of snake shows. Uh, so she thinks that she is being... I don't even know what she thinks. She doesn't think she's being eaten, which is why she's not trying to fight for her life. Uh, but she is a little confused with what's going on. Very, very pretty snakes. Now this one is not quite yet full grown. They can get a good deal bigger than this. Um, it's not at all uncommon. Come on, hood up. Look pretty. <laughs> really doesn't want to hood up. Yeah. It's not at all uncommon for these adult snakes to actually eat pretty significantly sized pythons as well. Uh, so they are formidable snake hunters. I mean, you could see it's even hard for her to get into a defensive posture because she just honestly doesn't feel that threatened by us. You got her? Really, really pretty snakes. <laughs> there we go. There's some hooding. There's some hooding. Hi! Now, the genus of these snakes is Ophiophagus, and that's a fancy Latin term for snake eating, and that actually refers uh, to their diet. Have you guys ever seen a king cobra before? Yes. <laughs> They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. Very nice. Nothing, huh? No hoodie? 
Oh, there we go. There's a little bit. Qui veut lui faire un bisou? I asked them, who want a kiss? A kiss? <laughs> Ooh, I don't no, think no. so. <laughs> a bite no to my face would kiss. definitely <laughs> kill me. I would definitely die if she were to bite me on the face. That's about as close as I'll get. <laughs> She's gonna get me. She's interested in getting downhill. Look at that. Really, really pretty snakes. You guys have any questions? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually the best thing you could do. So again. Snakes are not out to get you. Uh, he's probably just looking for food. He's probably eating rat snakes around your house, maybe even smaller cobras. Um, so the best thing to do is give snakes their space. As long as you're not getting up in their business, uh, they feel no need to defend themselves against an attack. Um, a lot of snake bites actually happen when people try to remove the snake um, or kill the snake. Uh, so actually that's, that's the large percentage of snake bites, that or actually stepping on the animal. As long as you really don't come into physical contact, what they're gonna do is they're gonna hood up, tell you, hey, don't mess with me, I'm not interested, and then they're just gonna go on their way. Uh, this female here, if we let her go, she would shoot right down into that river. She wouldn't go for any of you guys, she wouldn't go for us. She would just go to try and be safe because, again, snakes are just like any other animal. Uh, they're really, really interested in making sure they're comfortable, they're safe, they're well fed. Uh, so as, if you do see a snake in your garden, you can just leave it be, regardless of what species it is, uh, they're all just going to go on their way. Oh, hold this one. If it's in a house, there's, um, there's uh, animal relocators you can call, uh, a few Facebook groups that actually David um, engineered. <laughs> Uh, so you can post pictures of them online, ask what they are. A lot of times it's, it's difficult to try to, to understand what species um, something could be and whether or not that's dangerous. <laughs> um, but uh, in general, snakes aren't really interested in doing much. Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if it bites you, what's the first thing you should do? The first thing you should do is stay calm. Uh, if you allow your heart rate to just go out of control, it's going to pump that venom through you a lot quicker. Now, cobras primarily use neurotoxin, which directly affects your nervous system, which means your heart, your lungs, uh, the nerve endings. So if you were to get envenomated by a very large snake, stay calm, get to a hospital as soon as possible. Uh, a lot of neurotoxic snakes can cause respiratory failure. Um, some people um, can even uh, suffocate to death uh, if they get badly envenomated by a neurotoxic snake because their lungs will get paralyzed. Um, so it is quite dangerous. These are very medically significant. You do not want to mess around or wait this out. <laughs> you want to be able to. Uh, hi. You want to be able to get to a hospital as soon as possible. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you afraid of, of her? I'm not afraid of her, but I do respect her and her space. Uh, so that's going to be the key part of working with dangerous animals. Is that again, just knowing that they're not really out to get you. You you pose no threat to them, but um, they they can kill you if they want to. And it's 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 no different than if this snake were to get annoyed with me, a simple love bite. Um, to deter me from messing with it could end up with me six feet under. Um, so they are not scary per se, but uh, they, they do hold a lot of power that deserves a lot of respect and a lot of space. Uh, so we don't want to abuse that relationship. We want to respect the animal. We're handling it in a way that's uh, not really taxing on her. She's, she's just kind of hanging out, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but. Uh, she's still comfortable. She's not in any uh, harm. Yeah. Do the snakes live in family or they just So snakes are primarily um, solitary creatures. There's not a whole lot of species that are communal, that live in family groups. 
Uh, most species are going to be, most species are going to live by their own, especially king cobras. Uh, because they eat other snakes, it's not at all uncommon uh, to have these guys even see each other as food. Uh, sometimes breeding for king cobras gets a little tricky because if the male's not quite big enough, it might become dinner. Yes. <clears throat> How far can it strike? So this? snakes typically can strike about 30 to 50 percent of their body length. Uh, larger king cobras strike a lot, uh, I wouldn't say farther, um, but they, they can rear up pretty high. Uh, so, th so this snake here could probably rear up maybe, maybe about a meter or so. Um, and they can lunge, but um, it's not really as significant as a lot of uh, viper species. Vipers tend to have a much more explosive strike, and that's because cobras are a little more active hunters. Uh, so they're going to like mostly be cruising around, they find something, they grab it, they envenomate it, it dies pretty soon, and then they go and find it. Whereas a lot of vipers are ambush predators, so they are usually real tightly coiled and they explode out to grab their food. But this snake right here could easily, you know, get up and around to strike um, up to probably, it could easily get over a meter to come at you. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, how fast could it go? Could, it, could we run fast? You it? can outrun this snake, but it is a very fast snake. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're... If you were on like a flat ground, straight ground race, you could easily outrun it, but uh, in terrain, the snake can probably move through like branches and stuff a lot quicker than you could. Yeah. Not too close. Please. Yeah. This guy wants to hold a snake. Can you hold it? We've got a smaller snake that's not venomous. What made me start this job? Well, um, I really like wild animals. Um, I really like traveling, so I figured why not uh, travel all over and teach people about animals. Um, I really like snakes, mostly for the reason that I feel that they're pretty misunderstood. Um, as a kid, I was real interested in learning about animals. I thought they were really cool, but everybody told me that snakes were bad. They said, oh, hey, you're going out. What, you know, look out for tall grass, look out for snakes, they're out to get you. Um, and it wasn't until I encountered venomous snakes in the wild uh, that I felt essentially lied to. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? That's not true. These snakes are just trying to hang out. They're just trying to do their own thing. Uh, so I kind of set, set out on a journey to, um, you know, actually learn about these animals rather than let people tell me how they were, uh, just to find out um, how they actually are. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are not constrictors, uh, so they're mostly using their venom uh, to procure and kill their prey, but constrictors, large constrictors, uh, like large pythons, boa constrictors, and things like that, um, if they do get large enough, it is a very good idea to have a spotter. Uh, so that means just somebody else who can help you get those coils off, because even a 10-foot python could be half-grown, uh, but still be very difficult for one person to get off of themselves if it started to hold on to them a little tight. Yeah. How many meters you think, David? This one's this one's not very small, but it's definitely not as big as they get either. I'd say this I'd say this one is about maybe three or three and a bit meters. Three and a half maybe. Something like that I would say. Maybe not too close. Not our children. Yeah. No, she cannot. She just eats snakes. Yeah. Oh, it depends on how much venom she puts in. Um, this snake very easily could have you dead in, I don't know, what would you say? Six, twelve hours? <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to get to the hospital as soon as possible. Um, with neurotoxin, it's a little easier because it's going to start attacking your nervous system so if you get put on life support uh, typically you can survive a little bit longer whereas hemotoxin like a lot of uh, vipers will use will start to actually rot your flesh uh, it'll start attacking your blood cells and your tissue cells yeah um, when... Okay. Um, when the... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I'm not sure if this one's ever killed anybody. I think he's, I think he's a pretty chill one. Have you been bitten by one? No, never been bitten by one. Are we about out of time? Yeah. No worries. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed the show.
Yeah, I'll give you some of my cards here. So this is going to be put on David and my... Uh, I don't have enough for everybody, so you're going to have to take pictures and share amongst yourselves. Guys, real soon. Real soon. That's all. That's all I got. Real soon. No. Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, no problem. All right, I hope that was in focus for most of that. Cool. Some of these guys can get over um, 15 feet regularly. She could turn on an, on a dime. 